I just saw the album cover, album art, and I was wondering, like, how did they do all of that? I'm not a complex thing at all. Most of the things I do don't take like forever. And my hairstyle is Bernard. Yeah. The, the guy is just, the, I don't know, his gift. He can't, he can't teach you. Mm -hmm. You just show him what you want, and like, mm, I just do this, do that, do that, do that, and magic. He, Magic happens. So even if you're his apprentice and you're learning, you're just going to learn the like, how to keep hair neat and stuff. You're not going to know how to do it like him. Just give up. Mm. Ouch. Sorry. <laughs> I hit the mic. Yeah. You know, so no, I didn't take forever to do this. Hmm, okay, yeah. it looks nice. Looks, it looks Thank nice. Really you. nice. It's interesting that Rex should be fascinated by the hair. Oh, my God, it's really big. <laughs> African men like hair. Now, what you guys I know, and they're confused. They don't, they they don't like know. Hair. Everything looks real to them. I know, right? We like hair. Uh, like to see okay. hair. Okay, interesting. Mm. Yeah, I mean, like you didn't know. <laughs> okay, I'm just knowing this one. Though. They like to see hair. Uh, no, no, I mean, a lot of men have supported the cause of hair. You know, when it was Peruvian, we supported the cause. <laughs> okay. When it was Shuku, we supported the cause. Word, you know? true. Yeah, like, you don't, again, the choice. When it might be Congolese, <laughs> you supported it. What do you say? It. I said, when it might be Congolese, well, you'd support it too. Uh, one will really support it, Baba. Mm -hmm. We will so support oh, that no. one. I'm getting oh, your flow. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting your flow. And I don't blame you at all. <laughs> okay, let's get back to the music. So let's talk about your album. How long did it take you to finish the album? Oh, wow. Um, wow. Like, did you start recording it after Journey? I, I have always been recording, even before Journey yeah, yeah. and up to date, I've still been recording. So basically, I just picked songs that I'd... Because I'd already dropped like a major body of work in king of queens mm -hmm. which had been my recording at that time extending into the next year so this um, mama africa is, uh, uh, is a compilation of songs from this year and um beginning of last year february let's put it that way february okay i just need to go deep into the album already uh is Dokka's one of johnny's girls hmm. Very, 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 very correct, Miss. Yes, really. And you targeted her to put on an album. <laughs> but darling, too much unknown now. This time around, it's different to uh, uh, I Look, you know, most uh, times, say, oh, he's not what it. That mm. means he's not what my love. Let me allow him go. Mm -hmm. This time around, I'm telling Auntie Dockers mm. that Azurumebe. What's one of, of that <laughs> red <Rex, Mr. laughs> I bought a gun. Mm -hmm. yeah. I also asked her, does she want me to test how to use my cutlass? On her. Yes, I can test my show because I don't know how to use this, but I might learn on your body. Huh. So, but now the truth of the matter is that um, as an African woman, mm -hmm. uh, there are many things that come to our mind, but because of civilization and the fact that okay, thou shalt not kill, <laughs> <laughs> we have to behave ourselves. But this album, Mama Africa, is me saying things that come to my mind, the average girl, girl's mind, without exactly trying to filter it and sound oh nice and reserved. No as it really is and ferrari was really from your mind too it's very as really? it really is because really? shop in netherlands for real hello hi like if you were offered all of that you'd be here asking me john question um you know it's you know you said right hold on over the no no hold on okay, it's a change season i'll be scared ESC might just be after us you know this guy is a liar mm. uh, seriously you well, wanna you wanna about EFC after not, not before now okay. this season <laughs> all right yeah, congrats. For real. congrats i'm greeting you but you know what the, mm. my my male counterpart said them um, David, with yes, I will call names, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. They're always thinking about, ah, my CC, nah, nah, I get one biggie boom, bum, bum, yeah. Meaning that the girl is very voluptuous. Mm -hmm. Meaning that, of course, are all girls voluptuous? No. Some get, some no get. Some get double package, some no get. So but these guys it. are always, <laughs> holla. You know, so, but this, they're always talking about what they want. Mm -hmm. Upfront and personal. On filters, sometimes they even go fine. I want to, mm, 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 Kim Kardashian. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. They're saying their own. So, like, High time we told them that all we need to is Ferrari in the backyard, salary in the hand. That's all. Oh, okay, makes sense. Simple as that. Mm -hmm. Simple. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what what uh, gave birth to the concept of Mama Africa? Why that title for the album? Well, uh, Mama Africa was uh, is a nickname actually. Even King of Queens is a nickname because mm. King of Queens I always call myself King Yemeadi or my BBM circle has always been that for like forever. And one time, a friend of mine on BBM, his name is um, Arthur, he pinged me. I was like, hey, King of Queens, how are you? I said, that's the title I was looking for. That's how that one came about. Mama Africa, a producer of mine, who I, I, I kept, 
we'll, scared, we'll, we'll schedule a, 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 a session today. But I have to travel. I'm here. I'm there. And then he, you know, he just got tired and started calling me from Africa. Madam, you're going to stay for your own country. You're there. <laughs> da, 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 da. So that's how my name came from Africa. And when I needed a second album title, it just made sense because I felt very connected to the name already. And it's still in sync with the first title, actually. The first album title. Yes. I must say you're very hardworking. I, I like I like your spirit. I like right. I like what you do. Like I was I was listening to that album with someone and the lady the girl said, I like Yemi because um, it has to be because because she dances to her own songs. I thought, okay, yeah. <laughs> that just has to be it. <laughs> Oh, that's the reason or not. That means yeah. I enjoy what I do. And I have to say that your songs on this album, they are they're tighter. Hmm. Yes. Yeah, they're more more exciting. Like you can enjoy all of the songs. I understand what you're saying. <laughs> you know, you are, you are, you are, I respect your mont multilingual, multi everywhere. Like, how you can say Yemi Alade is an evil girl if you understand what I mean. Like, I you, you can just say she's Swahili, she's yes, whatever. I get that. But that okay, that I was like, no, Yemi, no, 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 no. Okay. I actually enjoyed that one though. I know. I enjoyed it. That was just me playing around. Song, you know. Okay, it's a bonus. We accept it as that. Okay, you know what we should do right now? <laughs> Let's hop into Yemi Alade's Ferrari right now. All right. Go for a test drive. And, no. and when we come back, we'll play maybe one more song from the album. And uh, yes, the uh, they, you guys should make sure you go out and go and get it. Mm -hmm. uh, don't worry, we will choose mini mini mini. Please, In fact, we'll, do tum -bum. we'll do tum bum tum bum on which one? <laughs> that's yes. it. That's the same. <laughs> All right, so let's check this one out. Ferrari from Yemi Alade. Holla. Gucci girls too, you know. Mm -hmm. Think of Jenny, I understand, but the the actual the the um the, the the thing we're going for when we're shooting Ferrari is actually time travel. Mm -hmm. If you paid a lot of attention when you're watching, you see that we moved from the olden days era where we're in the bush, we're wearing the leopard skin and all those torn clothes in the bush, and of course trying to check me, and I had carries in my hair. Mm -hmm. Then from there, we moved on to the old school, whatever, when I had the afro, everybody was dressed all old school, and then from there we moved to the like futuristic, when I had the Chinese outfit going on. So it was actually time travel was the cocoa for us, showing how the guy chased me from one generation to another generation to another generation. That's basically the idea. But of course, where you see people in the bush, people dressed like uh, bush people, mm -hmm. and dancing at the same time, and is Yemi Alade involved? Of course, you say it's like Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yes, you can. You can get that uh -huh. from the whole the whole album. Yeah. All right. Um, I want to ask one some more questions about like the direction of the album, mm -hmm. like the music direction. Mm -hmm. I like the how you know the producers, everyone held their own. Like. I like a lot of the songs with uh, Celebobo. Oh. Good. But that's your playful, your most playful side, you know, mm. with uh, Celebobo. True though. Celebobo went salsa. Yes, Celebobo and yes, and you guys have a salsa nice. song, which mm -hmm. was, you know, was really nice. But uh, coming back to Ferrari. Yeah. Let me just say my first, um, oh, because of the title of the album, Mama Africa, mm -hmm. and hearing a Ferrari song, mm -hmm. you know, I listened to the song, the music was great, the idea, I saw, I, in fact, I understood everything that was going on mm -hmm. in the song. But I was th then again, I was thinking, like, a Mama Africa album, mm -hmm. is Ferrari not a tad bit, like, portraying more, African more women as being materialistic? Well, you know, um, Mama Africa has gone beyond just being... Um, that phase where Africa is linked to, you know, oh, we're conservative, just the little, mm -hmm. little things make me, let's be realistic. I am Mama Africa. She's Mama Africa. Every woman out there is Mama Africa. And every generation, Mama Africa is redefined. If a young lady today wants a Ferrari, it's what she likes. Now, I'm not a very, I'm not a very vain person. Mm -hmm. I like the simple things of life. I like the earthy things. I hardly, I don't, I don't exactly enjoy eating out. I like eating my own. I like cooking my own food. That's how earthy I am. But that doesn't mean that I would not like a Ferrari. Those are the things that make me happy. So if my sister here wants a Ferrari and that makes her happy, it's fine. Um, like I was trying to tell you before, it's not about being materialistic. Mm -hmm. It's about saying what you want when you want it. There's a time in your life that when you actually what you want is ah I'm sorry oh, at this point it'd be like say I no go want to date a boy. I wanna date a man. Mm. So in every stage in your life you pick the one where you want. Maybe it's not Ferrari you want right now. All you want is just a car. So if you want me, you go buy me moto. It's okay. <laughs> yeah. I can I can I go girl power on this? Yes, you can. You can. <laughs> okay, now thing is she made it very clear. Like at first I was thinking in that line too, but she made something very clear. If you want the shapely lady, 
not all ladies are sh so shapely. Yeah. So if you insist that's what you want, if you're getting the shapely lady, maybe you should get what the shapely lady demands. You understand? So just maybe. Some people, when you ask them, what kind of person do you, what kind of, um, what's your ideal partner? Mm -hmm. When you ask a guy, in his mind, mm -hmm. let's be serious, he would not mind one half cast. An Indian girl with black tummy. Long hair. So all his children will be yellow. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He will not mind. But he wouldn't say that. Mm -hmm. Like logically, you would mm. say uh, 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 someone who's God-fearing, who looks mm. good, who's neat, who has genuine this. Mm -hmm. That's what he'll say. Mm -hmm. But now, like I said, the album is about saying things that haven't been thought of twice. Mm. Just say it as they come to your mind. Mm. Which is why, okay, Ferrari, me. You don't edit your diary. This diary is not edited. I get it. Exactly. <laughs> but you know how the diary is now. Last class you can code some things in case anybody wants so to check. I've yeah. taken out all the codes and put it out there to an extent. So there's still part two. This is just like chapter one of my Okay, life. chapter one. Yeah. Okay. okay, let me tell you what I'm looking forward to hearing in chapter two. Tell me. Problems African women are facing. Such as things that got you're an African woman. Mm -hmm. I'm sure there are things that are biting you harder than they're biting me. Probably uh, the way maybe men treat the women, the expectations mm -hmm. of a wife, you know, you know, well, lots that's, of that's that's uh, one you know, lots of issues, you know. So that I, I wanted you know, that's what I wanted to hear in the album when I heard that title because it's a grand title. Yeah. Mama Africa. There's so much happening in Africa, Nigeria, everywhere. In fact all other African countries can relate to that yeah. woman everywhere. So I felt maybe more of the topics should you know come in but hey sure. this is the fun part of the diary yeah hopefully. this is a dance <laughs> album version of the yeah. diary for now okay now as i said let's talk about you yeah uh who are you in love with like, uh, yeah, let's talk about Thank God you did that. I didn't want to. Yeah, I had to say because yeah. it's not yeah. just about work. I know I've seen the hard working part. Like I know young lady is really hard working. Who is the potential Ferrari giver? Yeah, Ferrari giver. Yeah, don't make that, it that, sound that, like you never heard love before. No, no, of course not. Okay. I okay. am in a relationship. Like, There's no two ways. Oh, okay. Oh, you are when, now. Yeah, of course. But then when you ask me, um. Who is the person? I'm not asking. How does he butter your bread at home? No, no, we would like to know. You like to know? Really? Are you telling we me? Care. We care. No, no, we, no, we live in a transparent you. environment. Oh, you are right so transparent right now. I can see your skeleton. No, no, and besides, you, are, you know, you are a star. <laughs> yeah. So you have to shine. All parts have I'm to shine. I'm shining. Don't ask me when my partner is shining. Too. No, <laughs> I'm shining. End of this course. But you're in love. It's good to know that. Well, thank God. It's healthy. Yes, it's you're showing. glowing, showing on you. If I said I'm not in a relationship, because you say it's money, then <laughs> yes, it's <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's do marry me. It's yeah, a beautiful marry, song. marry it, me. It sounded, it sounded so nice. I sounded so different. I know. Right? Unlike you. Yeah. Yeah, very much. Very unlike you. um, what's the word? Vulnerable. Compared to my gang 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 gang. Is that what you mean? No, that's not what I mean. What do you mean? It was exotic. It sounded like you could do anything with your voice. Oh. Yeah, that's what that was the way you sound. So like. how do I know when you sound then? You sound playful. So it sounds like you can play and then you can decide to be very deep or just go to any kind of sound you want to go to. Okay. Yeah, well, you can kick off that. the song, you know. Yeah. Um Okay. Um this song is titled Marry Me. Myself and Celebrable wrote this song. It's 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 a it's a very amazing song. Why don't you just listen and enjoy and ask that guy next to you now? Are you going to marry me? Really? Or after the sugar and the chewing gum has finished, will you throw me away? Let's go. Okay, you know what? Uh, <laughs> at this juncture, we have to you know, sign out. <laughs> we have some other songs on the playlist that we're going to get into. So it's been great having you on the show, Yemi Alade. Yeah, fantastic. Thank you so much.